The atoms which make up your thoughts, the very DNA of your mind, have been covered in tar. A black, gooey, and sticky tar. You can try to remove it. The tar. But you will end up making a mess. That is very hard to clean. Eventually, the atom's toxicity will move into your thoughts like a cancer. You will no longer be in charge of your thought stream. And as we know, thoughts become behavior, and you become the tar. Once it has taken over, it wants to stay. It will convince you that you are now the tar. It will play specific thoughts in your brain to create a delusion that you have always been the tar. The amazing thing I've learned about the atoms, the cells, and the beginning of the mind is that you can create new atoms, a new DNA. The only way to defeat this gooey and clingy tar is to remove it by creating new atoms, new cells, and new DNA. You are not toxic. The tar is toxic. You are not a cancer. The tar is the cancer. You must envision this in your mind. Envision the tar clinging to every neurotransmitter and every thought that begins to spark. Imagination is transportation of the mind. That is just the very beginning of the process. You will slowly, day by day, and little by little, begin to recreate the very existence of the mind. The new atoms will now be in charge of memories and your thoughts that they allow into you. The tar must be removed and you will be enlightened. But the only way to defeat the tar is the tool that the tar is using, the mind itself. You must learn to use your mind against itself. Your mind is very powerful. Start with imagination. This will help to give you hope and some momentum against it. Intrusive thoughts, an enemy, a Judas of the mind, a silent devil, showing destructive images to a visionary, using a strong imagination as a weapon. A movie of you looking into a mirror, and you're the viewer trying to figure out who's the protagonist. You then realize you're watching a movie of yourself watching a movie of you looking into a mirror. Does the man in the film watching the movie really want the good guy to win? Which thought is yours? Intrusive thoughts. A horror movie handcrafted inspired by what I fear and dislike the most. Except I didn't buy the ticket. And just like a horror movie. The movie you hate, it's gruesomeness. The more it's done its job. You can try to leave, but the doors are locked. You're trapped. But then you remember you are in control of your imagination. Where the silent devil lies. So you imagine flowers. Blooming through the blood-soaked rooms. A cat doctor brings all those back to life. And a ninja uses a ninja star to take out the bad guy. It's not as easy as just changing the channel. But for a visionary, an imaginative foe, use the imagination back against the enemy. For it's your strongest vice, and is always yours to control.